A very good afternoon. My name is Alok Shivasava from Network Nuts, and welcome to Network Nuts YouTube channel. Once again, Delhi is getting hotter and hotter every day. So, finally, the summers are here. So, hot, hot is the weather. Hot is puppet. Believe me, this video is about the puppet. I am going to show you how to secure SSH using puppet. So, securing ssh using puppet sorry is a theme or is the topic on which i'm going to share a very small manifest or a module for puppet before i start i just like to share you one analysis that we had done in network nuts majority of the trainings especially the online trainings are coming on puppet I have a small slide for you I hope you won't mind if I share it just a moment here it is so based on the training demand that we are getting maximum of the training the black color or, or the gray whatever you can say I see it black might be I'm colorblind uh, maybe because I generally see white blue gray and blue I don't see any other colors so the slides are haha <laughs> so majority of the online trainings or the demand of puppet is coming from these countries Canada US UK Australia Singapore India right the demand is there but now people are gradually getting aware of the benefits of learning the configuration management tool like puppet so this video in this video I am going to show you how to secure a service a small service not a small a very important service like SSH using a puppet module so for that the basic understanding of the puppet is required but even if you don't know anything about creating the modules in puppet you will see or you will be able to see the benefits of learning puppet right so I'm coming back to my machine so here I've got two machines you can see out here one is having a green background which will be acting as my puppet server and another which has just shut it down oh this one is jealous the blue background is the client so I'm going to show you how to secure the SSH using puppet so on both the machines the puppet package is installed so this machine I've got the puppet server or the master installed right the service is running and on the blue machine which was jealous quite just few moments ago <laughs> so this is my client puppet let me just make the font much slightly bigger for you and the service is running here also and I don't have the DNS so I had created the host entry so both the files both the machines are able to recognize each other or hit each other by the name so I'll just write here puppet agent I will just test it whether the slave is able to communicate with the master or not perfect the slave is able to communicate with the master now what I want I want to secure the SSH which is running on this blue machine by working on the green machine which is which is my puppet master so if currently if I see there RPM query open SSH hyphen server so the package is installed no problem but the problem is that that this client is running with the default configuration of the SSH which may or may not be secure like suppose I want to change the port I want to change the protocol I don't want root to login so I need to secure this by using a puppet module so I need not to be there I need not to be sitting there or doing SSH on the blue machine I will just be working on my master and will doing the things right so for that I will just you need to open your main conf file of puppet puppet.conf and just specify the module path here this line sh you should write this line that where are my modules so my modules are under etc puppet modules that means friends you are telling the puppet the location where to find the modules that's great sounds good 
now i will move inside etc puppet modules obviously the folder will be blank or the directory will be blank so what i do if you don't know about the modules then you should remember one thing puppet is very specific about the folder and the file locations and the name so you have to adhere by those rules so if i'm trying to create a module for open ssh so i should be creating a folder here open ssh once the folder is created i need to create two folders minimum one is manifests and another is files so these two folders need to be created now i should be creating the manifest main component this modules main component so the main component will be under the manifest folder so in this file this is the path i should be creating a file named as init.pp the name should be same as i had just told you that puppet is very specific about the names so you should be creating this file what is the importance of this file this is the modules main manifest this is the manifest main you main unit the main code which will be invoked whenever i want to include it so i just create a class here class open ssh now here is a very important point to note remember that i had given the folder name as open ssh under the modules so whatever the name you had given for the folder the same name should be there and must be there for the class so i done it like this i close it now within this i will be writing my stuff so first i need to make sure that the package is installed say package installation so i just write here package resource i'm creating a package resource i just make sure that the open ssh server should be installed so i write here ensure present i can write here i can write here ensure present but because ssh is a security related package so it is it always makes sense to make it right here latest that means if any updates are available on the yum server so the package will automatically get updated so it's a very good idea to make those packages those are security related to have latest as the value for the ensure attribute rather than present i hope that makes sense right now i need to create a file okay i'll just write here file to be pushed by puppet master to puppet agent so i create a file resource here it can be anything sssd config now i need to make sure that this file should be there ensure present or ensure file the owner obviously should be root I can't take any chances here even the group should be root you can also change control the permissions those who are familiar with puppet knows all these things now comes the important part source so i write here puppet modules open ssh then say sshd underscore config right and i close this that and but where to copy it so so i can write i can use a path here path etc ssh sshd underscore config that means please copy the file which is in this location to this path so the the file that that i want to push to the client i should be keeping it here and that file will be automatically copied in this location and because i want that if there is any changes in the file the service should automatically get restart so one i should have a dependency of the package that means what that means require package open ssh means the file should not be created unless the package is there so the file requires the package so it's a dependency and then i can notify it notify the service let me give the name to sshd that is again a dependency that means whenever the file get changed 
please notify the service so the service should get restart automatically or refreshed automatically so that is actually a good way of controlling the behavior of puppet or your manifest and your ssh module now i'll be starting the service controlling ssh d service so right here service sorry SSH D ensure running and because I want to be available across the reboot so I say enable true and this service need rip the package also so I say package open SSH hyphen server that means the service should not be started don't try to start the service unless the package is there these are the titles that i'm giving here these are the titles right okay that's great makes sense i close this and here i close my class here is the class is being closed i can write here for you class close here perfect so first the package the machine will check whether the package is there or not or if it is a latest package or not then this source file which i'm just going to create will be copied on this location on all the machines with this ownership group and the mode and the file will not be created unless the package is installed and if there is any change in this file in this file the, it, it is the responsibility of this file resource to notify the service that please restart yourself and even the service need the package so i had given a dependency here so i save and come out from here seems good so far so far so good now what next i need that file ssh file so what i do here i'll just copy my etc ssh sshd underscore config to my etc puppet modules open ssh and files so if i go to files perfect just make sure that the puppet has got read writes here so i need to just make sure chmod 640 here your basic rsc knowledge can come here and i can change the group also change group puppet or you can make it 644 it's solely up to you so i can also make it 644 chmod 644 to sshd underscore config so even though you hadn't changed the group it will still work now i will con I, I will modify this file remember i'm going to modify the file which is under the modules file so i open this file and do whatever changes you wish to do like suppose i wish to change the port so i change the port to 2222 i don't want to allow root access so i say permit root login no sorry and maximum authentication try 6 i think is too much 3 and please feel free to do whatever changes you wish to do here so what I do here just to make sure that you understand it I'm just writing a comment here puppet server managed and I will write the same line here also puppet server managed so that when the file get copied we'll be able to see just to make it more interesting nothing technical here so I save and come out from here perfect my module friends is ready my open ssh module is ready what need to be done i just need to go to the main file those who understand puppet knows that the main file which the client first hit is site.pp so i do a site.pp i can create a default node and just write here include open ssh that's it or I can simply write open SSH that will make sense because whatever you write in the site.pp will be applied on all the puppet agents 
so I save and come out though it is not required now I go to the machine which is always jealous and it turns black who I wrong password wrong password again what I am doing I don't know correct password thank you so now either I should wait for half an hour that obviously I know you won't like it so what I do I run the agent I test it let's check it out who are yo perfect S perfect see here the file get copied these are the files the port get changed and the service get refreshed automatically so if I check the local file you can see there the port is changed root login is not allowed and maximum authorize 3 is there so that means if I try to do SSH I don't know about the status of the IP tables oh that's great fresh so if I try to SSH and test it out I do a SSH slave it won't work connection refused because the port is changed so I need to specify the port perfect look now it is working so you have just learned how to secure a SSH with which is obviously a very critical service using the puppet module right so I'm just not uh, like going I can give yes here and because the root login is not allowed so obviously it won't allow me to log in so I need to hit it with some other name like alok or student or whatever name but the connection is secure different port it is running on different port and the root login is not allowed and for three fail tries it just going to kick me out so imagine your job was to config secure the SSH on thousand machines this is all you need to do on the master and all the machines are thousand machines will automatically pick your module and will apply it on itself that is and once it is done it it's not going to redo it we call it indempotence in the language of puppet so it is really a very interesting tool and amazing tool amazing you can also learn chef and ansible no doubt but so i hope you like the video you like how to secure the ssh using your uh, puppet skills leave behind your rsc skills learn something new learn something which is actually is in demand thank you very much see you again soon with something new something interesting and something hot oh i didn't show my pic to you ah ha bye take care god bless